I am the back end handyman. I fix things as cheap as I can, which is often all by myself. I am not a professional. May not be done the right way, but it's done my way. I assume no responsibility if you attempt the same thing and damage anything. Okay, this is my wife's 2014 Ram 1500. Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video. Might as well, I'm gonna have to do this a second time. So I know how to do it. A little bit more comfortable with making the video. Uh, I replaced these a couple years ago, but what we're having is problems with exhaust manifold. You can hear it. If you don't want to air the tires off, now take off this fender wall right here with these screws. Remove, there's some missing on mine. There might be some in those holes for you guys. But on mine, I got that one, that one, and that one. And there's a little screw thingy there. There's a nut supposed to be a clip in there not there uh, there might have been one there at one time and there's another screw right there I'll get this taken out all right after you get that off that little one with the screw is pretty pain in the ass I don't know why they did that because that screw never turns easily either if it does the whole thing turns uh, what I do to avoid breaking them if you can get something in behind the screw like right back here and push the screw out that way that's better than trying to unscrew it or if you can get your needle nose pliers on the edge of the fucking thing then you can hold this while it screws out that's what i did this time now as you can see here this right here is one of the bolts and that's the that's that's what's fucked up. That's what I'm trying to fix. And you can see it's fucking broke off. But I have some to grab onto, so not all is lost. But need to take off the shroud. Has some on the bottom too. You take the shroud off first. That one ain't gonna come off. But uh, probably be good to get some penetrating spray to spray on it and let it sit for about 10-15 minutes. Just spray the shit out of it. But I'll get it all sprayed down. Oh, and when you take this off, this right here is right here. It's easier to push these through the back side. Like this is what it is. They were right there. And you just push them through to get that off. This is what I was talking about. Penetrating. It says, breaks loose foster. Well, these things get really hot. And they suck. So, at least, what you can get to for now. Alright, just to hear what we're fixing. Now let's just take a moment to think about why we should fix that. Oh, all it is really the sound, right? Well, actually, in a way, yeah. And these newer trucks that have the firewall and all that that's really sealed off, that sound just fucking is there and nothing really hurts. But the older and the more wore out the components are on the firewall and window seals, door seals, all that stuff like that, that's actually exhaust fumes. So it's not good to breathe that stuff in. So anytime you hear that ticking like that, you might wanna have it fixed if you smell exhaust while you're driving around. 100% uh, make sure that it's fixed in wintertime because if you sit and idle anywhere, you're just filling up your cab. 
I almost guarantee that's what's killed a lot of people is just driving around without knowing an exhaust leak was filling their the cab of their vehicle with exhaust fumes. Now I'll pull that metal shield off. All right, I got it off. A little boo boo. Wah, wah, wah. Of course, never. Go, nothing ever goes too easy with me. That one wouldn't come off. So I kind of cut around it a little bit with the tin snips and then just twisted it until it ripped off. So now I'll go ahead and take off these bolts going back. Uh, I think I'll get a band-aid first. I'm starting to get blood all over the place. All right, got my band-aid, got those bolts off. So now take off the rest of these. There's one, there's another one right back here, two. That front one came out with the shield. And then there's four on the bottom, I believe. We'll get it pulled off and I'll show you. All right, guys, this is what it looks like when it's off. As you can see, that back one's a little black around it. That's because that's the bolt that broke off. I got plenty to hang on to. I couldn't be happier with where it broke off at. And just so you can see, these are the big ones that go into the shield, right? You can pretty much line them up. They're the different size bolts. Uh, I think these are 13 millimeter and these are 10. So, and the nuts on top of these is 10, but there's a bolt there, bolt, 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 bolt. This one back here was one of those wing ones. That's one that broke off. It's one that usually breaks off. And then we got this one here. We got this one and this one have the slots. I guess that's so you can set it on there. That's cool. But yeah. And what's frustrating is the reason those bolts break is over time the heat makes them weak. And I don't know if you can see it. See that little gap under there? Back where it started coming away from the engine. Up here it's touching. It's all solid on there. And sad part is I changed this within the last couple of years. Here, let me show you. It was purchased the 1st of November 2021. I'm using my nifty vice grips. Look at that. It was loose. Oh, praise. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I will say if you have it, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and, you know, take a tap and die and run it up in the head bolt hole. I don't have the right size, so I'm not going to do that. But I just wanted to mention that to clean up them threads in that head, you know, making it to where there isn't anything in the future that would make this harder than it should be. All right, I'll put the little chart up there, but I think the tightening order is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. And the main bolts, 17, 18 torque pounds. I'm gonna do 17 because I'll put a thing up there showing where I got these specs. People don't know exactly, so I'm gonna put 17 on there and then I'll put the little nuts on. Not as tight as I did last time, of course, because that is fucking ridiculous. What you do is you go through and you tighten it in order that the chart says to get it all up against there. You don't tighten it 100%, but you get them snugged up in the order that it shows, and then you tighten them to torque in the order that it shows, and then you just go around one last time and make sure that all of them are tightened. But I'll get this on there. All right, after you get them on there, it's time to do the torquing. Now you wanna make sure that you have a torque wrench that actually has foot pounds or inch pounds. Now, if you do foot pounds, we're doing 17 foot pounds, which this one here, get it focused. That right there is 17, which it about don't go no lower. And that wrench is way too long. So I have inch pound torque wrench. I actually got both of these off of Amazon. I'll lose, include links down in there. You won't want that one 
if you're doing this. But this Actually one is pretty cheap. I think it's about ten, twenty dollars, and you get one of these, and you set up to two oh four, which you can see here, two hundred is the top, but I went past four ticks, so it should be two oh four. So this is a little bit smaller wrench I can get in there, so I'm going to use it. And how you use these torque wrenches? Well, you just put them on the bolt. I've already tightened these all, but you put them on the bolt. If you have it on your mark, I'll tighten it until this, that. That tells you, oh, you're at the right torque. So, I'll just go around and check them all since I've already tightened them. And then I put on the shield. Man, cut myself again. Oh, my wife knows I love her. I'm trying to get this fucking nuts on that bottom one. It sucks. Gotta go get me a Band-Aid again. Might have them all by the time I'm done. Okay. Then you get them back bolts on. I don't know the exact torque specs on those bolts. I did 46 foot pounds. That's what other catalytic converter torque bolts were saying on other vehicles. So I was like, well, this sounds pretty good to me. So, and then the rest, and it's done. You just put it back together. Put your fender walls back on put your tires on now's a good time to check them brakes i'll go ahead and put this one back together and then i'll show you how to take apart the other side all right this side is done all right here we are on the driver's side it's pretty much the same as passenger side but you already know how to take the tire and the um and the shroud off so i just thought i'd show you the few differences there's, you're gonna have the steering rack in front of it. There's a transmission tube going, and it actually screws on to that uh, manifold bolt under that that top uh, bolt. So, yeah, I'm wanting to get this done, so I'm probably not gonna include it as much on this side unless I found something that was difficult that I should tell you about. Of course, you got the same amount of bolts, but they're backwards, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of there, and we'll see what we got. I say that, and I found one difference. Uh, the catalytic converter bolts going back there, those are 15 millimeter instead of 17 millimeter. That sucks so fucking bad. This thing broke off. I don't know what to fucking do now. Holy fuck. So be careful not to break the fucking air ride hose off. That's something. Right there. Uh, happy Mother's Day, babe. Fuck. Alright, guys. Fuck this side. I'll tell you what. Man, he ain't shitting. I, I'm just gonna leave the header in there because, uh,. I'm not replacing the header, but I can show you the bolt things right there, 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 and this one here is opposite. So, and as you can see there, I bit the hell out of that one getting it out, so I gotta be careful getting the other one in. Okay, here we go. I got it in there. Uh, now, actually, what I did was I took it up that way. And then I was able to fit it down behind this plate right here. Uh, so I had to go this way because that, that dip stick right there, the oil for the truck, that's in the way. If it just pulls out, you could probably not have that to fight with. But I was too lazy to look to see how it pulls out. <laughs> and I just fucking left it there. But... Now, I got that gasket in there. Now I'm about to tighten it up, but you go like that. One, two, three, four. And then you come back here, five, six, seven, eight. And of course you do them all to the 17 foot pounds. So yeah, I'll get those on there. Yeah, I'm not saying. Whoever put this fucking bolt. That's the 
bus manifold bolt. Not really saying that they are asshole or nothing, but fucking idiots. Oh yeah, O2 sensor. See that O2 sensor? I can't get struck straight onto it because the O2 sensor is right in front of it. Fucking idiots. Let's see what I mean by these are threaded through. I also have these to put on the back side of them. Why they, in, why they aren't identical to the other side, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, I guess this comes loose more often, maybe. I don't know. I'll put these nuts on and there's that shield. At least this side wasn't as bad as the other side on the shield. This side get the exhaust manifold off is a pain in the ass. Jesus. Oh, here, no more. All that just to get rid of that. Well, luckily, after I unscrewed that, this just pops off of that other side. There are, you see those two little catches on each side of it? Well, they go inside those holes right there and hold it together. You have to find a way to pry that out and pull this out of that. And now, I'm just gonna go buy this shit. Oops. Great, trying to fix something and they're closed. Darn it. All right, and this thing, they don't have it. Oh, Riley's, they say it's, a, it's an online part order. It's 25 bucks for a piece of plastic and a brass. Fucking God damn it. Tried to do something fucking romantic. It always bites me in the ass. All right, I got new parts. Yay, $25 for a piece of fucking plastic. There's a little rubber in there. Just squirt a little bit of oil. Damn it. I'll go over it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video and want to follow my process, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.